प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर ए डिक्टेशन ऑफ ए मैटर ऑन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट 1919 टेकन फ्रॉम वेबसाइट जी के टूडे डॉट इन फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट 1919 हैड अ सेपरेट प्रीएम्बल की पॉइंट्स ऑफ द प्रीएम्बल वर एज फॉलोज इंडिया to remain as an integral part of british empire gradual decentralization of authority with loosening the supreme hold of the central government thus the preamble of this act suggested for a decentralized unitary form of government the time and manner towards goal of responsible government will be decided by the british parliament partial responsibility in provinces but no change in character of the central government in government of india act 1919 the spheres of the central and provincial governments were demarcated by a division of subjects into central and provincial generally speaking the central subjects included all subjects directly administered by the government of india or in which extra provincial interests were dominant the provincial subjects included subjects in which the interests of the provinces essentially predominated the diarchy was for the provincial governments the provincial subjects were divided into two categories was reserved and transferred the reserved subjects were kept with the governor and transferred subjects were kept with governor acting with the indian ministers diarchy was a gradual transition from irresponsible to responsible government the provinces were thought to be suitable for experimenting with such scheme thus the provincial subjects were divided into reserved and transferred subjects the elements of responsibility was as follows the members in control of the reserved subjects were made responsible to british parliament through secretary of state the ministers who controlled the transferred subjects were made responsible through the legislative councils to an indian electorate while subjects such as land revenue administration famine relief irrigation administration of justice law and order newspapers borrowing forests etc were kept in reserved list the subjects such as education public health and sanitation public works agriculture fisheries religious endowments local self governments medical services etc were kept in transferred list in other words the subjects which were considered of key importance for the welfare of the masses and for maintaining peace and order in the state were classified as reserved while subjects in which there was more local interest were treated as transferred no substantial changes were made in the office of secretary of state for india however his salary was made a charged expenditure on british revenue this time further the legislative council got the opportunity to criticize him at the time of budget the indian council was to be made of not less than 8 and not more than 12 members half of the members should have 10 years standing in the indian public service further their tenure was reduced from 7 to 5 years and salary was increased from pound 1000 to pound 1200 also the number of indians on the council was increased from 2 to 3 a provision was made for inclusion of three indians in the six member council of the governor general the advocates of indian high courts of less than 10 years standing were eligible to be appointed as law minister in the council the indian councillors were entrusted with only some unimportant departments 
via the government of india act 1919 a bicameral legislature was set up at center with two houses viz legislative assembly and council of state this was a primitive model of india's lok sabha and rajya sabha legislative assembly was the lower house with 3 years as its tenure it was made of 145 members of which 41 were nominated and 104 were elected the 41 nominated members included 26 officials and 15 non officials governor general was authorized to make nominations from anglo indians indian christians and labor to the legislative assembly to safeguard their interests stop